You know, from prom to graduation, coronavirus has certainly taken away a lot of milestones for high school seniors all over the country. And as Tom Hansen reports, a growing number of those students are now considering taking a year off before they go to college. When high school senior Hannah Jimenez was accepted into college, she never thought about taking a gap year. But then the coronavirus hit. Would you ever have anticipated being in this position that you're in right now? I just... I've always been excited to go to college and I just wanted to go and do it. So I don't think I would have considered deferring for a year now if this hadn't have happened. As experts warn of a second wave of COVID-19 in the fall, a new survey from Art and Science Group finds 16% of incoming students may take a gap year and another 17% may defer enrollment until spring of 2021. It's this question of, you know, is it worth, you know, paying that tuition and staying at home um, instead of, you know, maybe doing something a bit more worthwhile with our, with our time. So I think for myself and a lot of other my other my peers, um, deferring for a year has definitely become an option. When it comes to reopening, universities are split on what to do. Many are exploring a shortened fall semester with widespread contact tracing, social distancing, quarantine protocols, and remote learning. Far from the traditional freshman experience. This is normally a pretty busy time of year, even in non-COVID times, but it's gone bananas. Gap year advisor Julia Rogers says that while travel may not be an option this year, there are other productive ways to spend the time. It's this opportunity for you to get outside the bubble that you've grown up in, to figure out how you want to contribute to your greater community and global community and to prepare for adulthood in a meaningful way. Hannah hasn't finalized her fall plan yet, but if she decides on a gap year, she may become a contact tracer, collecting data on who's come in contact with an infected person. I think that that's a way to, you know, spend my time well and help the cause and maybe go to school sooner. <laughs> Making the most of uncertain times. Tom Hanson, CBS News, New York.